Morris with In Frame Visual Arts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hand rolled paper bead necklace using magazine pages from your favorite magazine. Let's get started. I'm going to make a necklace that's about 16 inches um, long, so it's more like a, a choker necklace. And I'll be using um, 13 paper beads and 14 spacer beads. I'm using little white pearls in this one. Um, and I'm going to use a bark and ring toggle clasp to finish it off. And the items, it's pretty simple. The items that you're going to need, what I've found, I've used several different products, uh, but what it, I've boiled this down to that works the best for me. I use Vaseline petroleum jelly to condition my toothpicks, which I will be putting my paper beads on to paint and, and let them dry. Uh, the Vaseline is to keep the beads from sticking to the toothpick once it's dry so you can pull it off real easily. To glaze my paper beads after they, uh, uh, the glue is dried once you've rolled it, I use triple thick. It's Brilliant Brush On Gloss Glaze. It seems to be the best. Um, it doesn't break down if you're sweating or if you have body lotion on. It uh, holds up pretty well. So I think you'd be really happy with that. So far it's been good for me. The final coat after the triple thick has dried, uh, I also add, I dip the beads in the Vibrance Paper Bead Glaze that works really well. It gives it a nice shine to it because sometimes if you handle your beads after you use the triple thick you can leave uh, fingerprints on it and this will bring the, uh, the shininess back to it. And I use a big bowl like this and a little bowl like this. This is for dipping the vibrance in. This is for my uh, triple thick that I can put uh, dip my brush into. You'll also need a glue stick I have a hair dryer that I use if I want to speed up the process. I have a little uh, styrofoam comb that I put to let my uh, beads dry. I'll use a paper or a uh, toothpick, put my bead on that, and stick it on this little tree, and that allows it to dry without touching anything. I also have bead stringing wire. I have I. I make it a little longer, of course, than the 16 inches. Give myself like three, three or four inches on each side so I can work with it easily. I also need this fishing wire with tape on the end. That is for uh, stringing the beads on and dipping your beads into this little uh, container filled with vibrance with the glaze and then you string the beads up someplace and just let them hang. You put uh, a paper towel underneath and let them drip. Then you need your scissors, you need your crimping tool, you need some clippers, I have a spoon, I have my rolling tool, paper rolling to tool, I have some q-tips and I have my triangle cut um, paper ruler for measuring my magazine page. So I take my pages and I measure about an inch. Anything longer than an inch I think is going to cause your necklace to hang wrong. So mark with a pencil every inch on the top and on the bottom you start every half inch or a half inch in and then measure an inch in from there all the way over. And then you uh, draw your triangle. You draw from the first point here to the first half inch in with your pencil. Draw that down. Move it over to the inch in. Line it up with the half inch down here. Draw a mark, uh, mark that right there, and you'll have, and you continue on through the page, and then you can cut it from there. I use a paper cutter, which makes it a whole lot faster. So let's get started. 
Now that I have my triangles cut from the magazine page, I'm ready to uh, roll them and glue them. Um, but at first I wanted to put a little thought into the design and the color. I, I like the idea of various uh, shades of blue here. Uh, keep in mind too that on one side it's got a lot of words, which is nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't have the blue that I want. Um, so you want to make, be mindful of the side that you put your glue on. So for this, if I want my blue side to show when I roll the necklace, I want to put the glue on the back side. So here we go. Here is my glue stick. And you want to make sure where you place the glue about an inch and a half to two inches down from the wide angle and cover the entire strip. Then you take your roll tool. This tool is terrific. It's got a wooden handle and a little metal tip with a slit in it which you feed the um, end of your triangle into and then you start rolling. It makes a big difference. So I'll slide it in right here. I can find it. And you just start rolling. You don't want to take the glue all the way to the both ends because it will stick to your um, metal tip here. And keep rolling all the way to the end. You might have to guide it a little bit to make sure that the triangle tip is going to end up in the middle of your bead. You don't want it to be too lopsided. If it starts going in the wrong direction, you can just back out of the roll and start up again. And when you get to the end, you might want to add just a dab more glue to make sure it's going to stick. Give it a good squeeze, and it slides right off. See how perfectly that is? Got your first bead. Again, make sure that you put your glue on the back or the opposite side of the color you want shown when you're finished. And you don't want to roll it too tightly because you can roll the paper so tight but you will not be able to slide it off the little metal little metal pipe at the end of your rolling tool. Faster once you figure out how you want to hold your tool and your strip of paper. Now, once you have all of your 13 beads rolled, you are ready to add your triple thick uh, glaze on it. So you want to make sure you have your styrofoam cone and your toothpicks. I've already put my toothpicks inside the um, petroleum jelly, so uh, we're ready to go here. But you want to make sure you wipe off the excess jelly before you start, before you put your beads on it. And then all you do is stick your bead on. for the triple glaze. A little handy tip here. This has been used quite a bit. I take Vaseline and I spread it around the outside lips of my uh, containers, glues and things like that and it keeps the lid from sticking. So I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to scoop just a little bit. won't take that much. Maybe almost a full teaspoon of 
glaze into my little plastic container here. Put the lid back on this because it dries up pretty quickly. Parchment paper is great to use. Keeps you from messing up your table. You can toss it when you're done. Then you take a small brush, about this size, and start painting away. Try to keep it off the toothpick if you can, and uh, make sure your openings are clear. Otherwise, you'll seal your opening. I think I have everything covered here. So now that you have the first coat on, you can take your hair dryer and speed the drying process up. Okay, once the layers of glaze have dried, you're ready to string them onto the fishing wire. So you can dip it into the, um, the final glaze process. So let's remove, let's remove our beads from the toothpicks and I just stick them right back into my Vaseline and they will be preconditioned for the next project. Alrighty. Make sure you've got the tape on the end so it doesn't come off and just string your beads. <clears throat> now once you get it strung, then you can dip it in the valance of uh, the vibrance. Make sure the, the bead is uh, covered very well with the vibrance. I'm going to hang it from my camera up here and let it drip until it dries. Now that the beads have dried, you're ready to string your necklace. Remove the uh, beads from the fishing wire. And then you can start stringing. your crimping tool. We'll tighten that up. Tug on it just to make sure it's nice and tight. Then you can start stringing your beads. So I have my pearls, my spacer beads. I want to put one on first. And I'm going to take one of the lighter color beads and put that on first. Another spacer bead. Then you put your other toggle on. Feed it back down through the spacer bead, I mean through the um, crimping bead. Leave an extra amount there so you can pull it through easily, tighten it up before you crimp it. Hold it up and make sure that there's plenty of room so that the beads lay nicely. And we're ready to crimp it. Make the loop just a little smaller here. Nice and tight. And then I trim off the excess wire. And voila, you're done. Paper beads, it's amazing.